Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. My name is Nick Park, and I'm uh, teaching a series of these five-minute messages where we are seeing Jesus in every book of the Old Testament. It was originally based on a book that I wrote about nine years ago called 40 Days with Jesus in the Old Testament. But we're actually taking a lot more than 40 days because uh, in that book, I just took one day for, for each book the 39 books plus an introduction. But uh, what we're doing in this study, we are just finding three, sometimes even four, uh, things that the, the a particular Old Testament book tells us about Jesus. And we're in the book of Joshua, as we have been for the last couple of days. And there's this wonderful incident in Joshua chapter 5, where Joshua is planning to conquer Jericho. And, and the Lord has not yet revealed to Joshua the plan and the strategy. Because, you know, Joshua was a general. Uh, he, he was a gifted general. He'd fought battles leading the army of the Lord in the wilderness and against the Amalekites and other uh, tribes there. And uh, he knew a little bit about military strategy. But God had a strategy that Joshua had never imagined. And you'll never find it in any manual of military strategy. God was going to get them to march around the city uh, seven days in a row and seven times on the last day. And then to let out a mighty shout and blow their trumpets and God would make the the, the seemingly impregnable walls of Jericho to fall down. And uh, so Joshua is up, uh, he's looking down on, on, on a hillside, looking down at, uh, at Jericho, working out, how am I going to capture this city? How can I find a strategy to break through these really thick walls? The walls were so thick, they used to have chariot races along the top of the walls. So you're talking about thick enough for one chariot to overtake another. And uh, as Joshua is trying to figure this out, this figure appears to him. It's the captain of the Lord's army. And at first you read this, you think this is some kind of angel. And Joshua looks at the captain of the Lord's army that has appeared to him and says, whose side are you on, ours or theirs? And that's where, if this is really the captain of the Lord's army, you expect him to say, well, I'm on your side, of course, because you know what? You're God's people and I'm the captain of the Lord's army and one with God is a majority. But he doesn't say that. Instead, he says, neither, but I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. And it says Joshua's reaction then was so, so telling. It says he fell down on his face, removed his shoes and said, my Lord. Because this was not just an angel. This was God himself taking off his shoes. You know, Abraham had had visions of God and God appearing to him in the form of men that had caused Abraham to fall down on his face. And Moses had removed his shoes when God told him to when he spoke to him out of the burning bush. And now this is like Joshua's equivalent of the burning bush moment. He's having an encounter with God. So he removed his shoes without even being told to and said, my Lord, because this was Prior to the sending of Jesus in the womb of Mary, this was a pre-incarnation uh, appearance of God the Son. And then Joshua realized that he had to submit to the plans of God, that it was not a case of Joshua finding a strategy to capture Jericho and saying, God, would you please bless my strategy? But it was a case of Joshua getting on board with the Lord's strategy. And that's why the the, the capture of Jericho is still such an incredible story to us, even to this day. I want to tell you that when Jesus comes to us, Jesus has a plan for our lives. Sometimes we, want, we come up with some plans. They can be good, they can be bad. But a good plan is not enough. It's got to be a, a God plan. And sometimes we are not very good at telling the difference between good plans and God plans. We just assume God is going to rubber stamp our good plans because they seem good to us. But God wants us to grasp hold of his plans. And he says, I have plans for you that are plans for good, not for evil. And when Jesus Christ comes with a revelation of himself into your life, you will know what is the difference between a good plan and God's plan for your life. And Lord, I pray for anyone who is receiving this message today, that they will receive a revelation from Jesus of the way that they must go, and they will be on board with your plans, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.